All right, Shalom. I'd like to start off by giving all praises and honor and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem Yahushai, by Hashem Rakhakadash. Double honors to the apostles, the elders of Great Millstone, the men that told me this truth, and peace and salutation to you, sincere Akims, pushing out this word in all truth and all sincerity, man. All right. So we see so much happening around us, man. But you know, um, as far as prophecy, but it, it, it's you know, it's many more prophecies that. Uh, you know, we got to be watching out for too as well, man. You know, even though, you know, right now Esau, uh, so-called white man, he's painting the picture, making it seem like everything is getting back to normal. But the Lord got other prophecies, man, that's, that's going to take place, man. And, you know, for us not to sleep, man, the mission, the mission is not yet completed. You know, this, this, uh, this time that we're in, man, you know, um, you gonna you gonna go see you gonna see some horrendous stuff. You gonna start seeing some things that, you know, when the scriptures tell you in uh, I believe on uh, Daniel the twelfth chapter, you know it's gonna be like a time like no no ever man like never before. You know Jacob's trouble. You know soon there will be a uh, race war and we see that's that's uh taking effect. You know those those, are, those things are brewing up right now in the earth. Okay. Between uh, uh, Jacob and Esau, all right, that spirit is out here, so we know that that's that's about to take place. Okay, soon there's going to be an economic collapse throughout the whole world, which is going to introduce the mark of the beast, which is the RFID microchip, all right, the mark of the beast system, all right. There's going to be soon uh, famine in America, pestilence, okay, worldwide execution. On the, on the men of the Lord, man, you know, uh, 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 just for preach, preaching this word. So, hey, man, this is like the scriptures tell you. And um, matter of fact, let me get it. Book of Matthew, chapter 24. And I'm starting at verse 7. It says, For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be, uh, Salaka, should be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places. All these are the beginning of sorrows, man. All right. So what you see before you, all right, this is this is just the beginning, man. Okay, things are gonna get way worse than this, but we gotta complete the mission, man. We gotta keep teaching, keep edifying brothers, keep uh uh uh, uh you know doing what we gotta do, man. Okay, what it says uh making sure that uh calling an election is short, man, you know. Be diligent, man. Okay, but um, you know. This is a part of the battle, man. We're not supposed to let up. All right? Even though, you know, uh, uh, things are looking somewhat normal, okay? I, I can speak for uh, here in, um, you know, in, in, in New York, you know, the city's opening up, you know, people are returning back to work, things like that, man. But uh, what the scriptures tell you, man, let's get it. First Thessalonians, man. All right, chapter five, and I'm gonna start at verse uh, two. It says, "For yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night." Right, the the day of the Lord is gonna come as a thief in the night when you people, you know, least expect it, man. All right, you not you not you see people. That's how the Lord's gonna come back when people think that you know everything is back to normal or somewhat normal. You know, uh, let me go ahead and, and continue to still be wicked, man. Continue to you know, uh, 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 worship these different idols, you know, still, uh, commit adultery, still, uh, uh, eat all these abominable, uh, abominable foods, you know, get tattoos, you know, get line up, shape ups, do all the wicked shit that Jake like to do, smoke weed, you know, sell drugs because things are, 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 are somewhat, uh, normal, right? But that's how the Lord is going to, uh, uh, take you people by surprise, man, when you people least expect it. All right. That's why it says he's going to come as a thief in the night. Uh, you know, when a robber comes, he's not going to announce himself. That's the same way how the Lord is going to come. He's going to come when you people least expect it. All right. So it says for when they shall say peace and safety, there's sudden destruction. Right. Coming upon them as travail upon a woman with child and they shall not escape, man. You see right now, you know, the, 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 the people are lax, man. You know, because the coronavirus, you know, the the, the the death toll has dropped, you see. 
So people right now, they're, they're, you know, they're, they're uh, asleep to the fact that, you know, that second wave is coming. That second wave is, is about to, uh, uh, you know, take you by surprise, man. Okay. And it says, but ye brethren are not in darkness that that day should overtake you as a thief. Right. That's talking about the men of the Lord. All right. It's not going to take us by surprise. It's not going to take us where, you know, we're going to be um, caught out there like the average people out here, man. You know, for the for the for the a majority of the people out here, they're going to be taken by surprise, man. All right. So we're not in darkness. You see, it says ye are all the children of light and the children of the day. We are not of the night nor of darkness. Right. We're, we're you know, we're of the day, man. All right. We got that eye salve. We can see through the, through, through the wickedness of Esau. We can see, you know, uh, uh, what's, what's, what's taking place, man. With the majority of our people, the two-thirds, they're, they're uh, completely blind, man. You know, they're blind to this truth. So they're in darkness. And it says, therefore, let us not sleep as do others sleep. It's lucky. Let us not, therefore, let us not sleep as do others, but let us watch and be sober, man. All right. And a part of watching is what? Watching out for the prophecies, watching out, you know, uh, um, linking them up with current events. OK, seeing what's going on in your day to day and, 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 and uh, you know, basically, uh, you know, uh, 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 using the scriptures as 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 the way to to to, to basically, um, <coughs> you know, use it, use the scriptures to basically uh so like hold on yeah but um making the scriptures as a way of making it plain onto you people man you know we we we, we uh we dissect what's going on in the, in the in the news all right and we break it down we break it down to you man make it plain like it, like it tells you in Habakkuk the second chapter we make it plain upon tables okay this is out of the book of John uh Chapter 9, verse 4. It says, uh, I must work the works of him that sent me while it is day. The night cometh when no man can work. Right. That, that time is approaching, man. You see? That's why we got to constantly be on our grind. We got to be constantly pushing out this word. Because that day is going to come where it's going to be a family of the word. Amos 8 and 11. Where, you know, this word is not going to be able, you know, you're not going to be able to, to uh, have access to this word you're not going to be able to go on your, your you know on your youtube or your social media whatever whatever outlet that the men of the lord uses to to teach this word man you're not going to be able to go out and and, and find the the men of the lord on the highways and byways okay that's the time we're approaching man you see where the men of the lord we're going to be prosecuted we're going to be uh so like we're going to be persecuted for, for, for teaching this word, for speaking this truth. All right? So this is the time we're supposed to be pushing, okay? Because sooner or later, um, you know, they're going to they're gonna, uh, take us off the streets, man. They're going to demonize us. They're going to they're gonna label us as terrorists, okay, like they did in the, in the past. They're going to label us as terrorists and that, you know, um, and we're going to be like an enemy of the state, man. You see, so this is the time, man. You know, this is this is the time for you to seek your power, seek the Lord Yahweh Hashem Yahushai while you can, man. You know, First Thessalonians chapter one, uh, verse three. It says, um, "Remembering without ceasing your work of faith and labor of love and patience of hope in our Lord Yahweh Hashem Mashiach in the sight of the Most High and our Father, man." All right. So, hey, man, we got to we got to keep pushing this word, man, without ceasing, man. All right. This 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 work is is on to, uh, 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 you know, it's, it's, it's not a it's not a uh, how can I say it? This this is something you're supposed to be doing out of the, you know, the the you got to have love for this thing, man. You got to have passion, man. Basically, you got to have passion to do this thing, man. OK, you can't you can't fake it. All right. So 
this work, man. You know, we gotta we gotta keep pushing this thing, man. No matter what. Alright, because the mission is not completed, man. It, it, until like like the apostle Paul said, man, I have I have fought the good fight of fate. Alright? And you know what lies uh 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 before me is a crown of righteousness, a crown of of, of, of you know, that's and that's what every brother, you know, uh we're hoping for, we're we're seeking for, man. Okay? To be a part of the Lord's uh, elect, man. 144,000, man. Okay? That's why we got to keep pushing, man. And another way, and another reason why we got to keep pushing, because the Lord said he didn't He didn't uh, have us as a praise in the earth yet, man. Okay? We're not a praise in the earth yet. Matter of fact, let me get that. Isaiah um, 62 and verse 6. It says, um... I have set watchmen upon thy walls, O Jerusalem. Right. Who's the watchman? That's talking about the prophets, man. That the Most High has set up, all right, in the spirit to teach and warn you people, man. Okay. It says, I have set watchmen upon thy walls, O Jerusalem. Jerusalem being a people before a place. All right. You you, you Israelites, man. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, man. All right. You're Jerusalem. It says, which shall never hold their peace day nor night. Ye that make mention of the Lord, Yahweh Shem Shai, keep not silence, man. All right? And that's the duty and the job of a prophet, man. All right? We're supposed to be prophesying. You see? The, the Most High gave us this word. He instructed us this word. That's what we're supposed to be doing, man. We're supposed to be teaching our people, man. Okay? To come back to the, to, to, to the laws. All right? Even though the laws are not going to save you, but, you know, it's, it's through grace of the Most High, man. Okay? And we're and we're and what we're doing. We're rehearsing the righteous acts. All right, but we, the, the, it says uh, keep not silence, man. You see, that's why you got brothers always constantly pushing out this word, man. Doing videos, uh, three, four videos a day, if that, you know, just just constantly edifying, just constantly putting videos out, man. Putting lessons out, man. All right. And it says, and give him no rest till he establish until he make Jerusalem a praise in the earth, man. All right. And right now we're not a praise in the earth, man. Nobody knows who the Israelites, the true Israelites are, man. Okay. According to the Holy Bible. Everybody looks at the so-called Negro, Latino, Native Americans as, as the as the filth of the earth, man. All right. As the as the people that's just no good, man. All right, they they don't look at us as we're the Lord's chosen people, man. Okay, Esau paints that picture of us being just a bunch of degenerates, man, bunch of niggas, man. Okay, and and guess what, man? You know, hey, he got a he got a right to do that, man. Okay, because a lot of you niggas, man. All right, you 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 give him that 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 right to fucking uh uh, uh for him to say that you're a fucking nigger and this and that because a lot of you. You know, you 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 just uh, uh, wicked as all hell, man. All right, you're wicked as all hell, and you don't want to seek the Lord Yahweh Bashim Shai, man. So guess what? He 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 paint us in that light, man. He paint us as 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 being no good, man. All right, well we're the Lord's chosen people, man. All right, so when the Lord until the Lord makes us a praise in the earth, man, we got to keep pushing this word, man. Okay, so all things be fulfilled. This is the book of Luke, um, chapter 19, and verse 12. We'll start at verse 12. And it says, um, he said, therefore, certain noblemen went into a far country to receive for himself a kingdom and to return. And he called his ten servants and delivered them ten pounds and said unto them, occupy till I come. All right. And that's the main point, man. We got to occupy to the Lord. Yahweh Shai. All right, Yahweh Shai, the Lord sent his son, Yahweh Shai, come back to deliver his elect, man. All right, occupied in this work. We got to con continually keep pushing this, this word out, man. All right. Like the, 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 the title of this lesson, you know, um, basically uh, the mission is not yet completed. You know, it's, it's many more prophecies that have to take place, man. Okay, before we can basically say that we're you know and, and and even then we still we we ain't we ain't gonna stop until we delivered man all right so brothers is up in the chariots 
that's when it's going to be like, all right, well, you know what? The mission is completed. You know, we did all we had to do to push this word, whatever measure the Most High gave us. And that's it, man. All right? That's when the mission is completed, when we up in those chariots, man. All right? So other than that, man, just keep pushing. Yo, you know, we almost out of here, Lord willing. All right? And, uh, you know, until the next time I say uh, Shalom.